In this video, I will be showing you all how to build the molecular structure of caproic acid, as seen above with its chemophysical properties, that has a molecular formula of C6H12O2. Once I have shown you how to build the molecule using the Snatoms kit, I will explain the molecular geometries, properties, and functional groups present in caproic acid. To start, here again is the molecular formula for caproic acid along with the structure. To start, the black represents carbon, white to represent hydrogen, and red to represent oxygen. And this piece right here to represent the pi bond between carbon and oxygen, or also now known as the carbonyl group. To start building our molecule using the Snatoms kit, I will first create the sp3 carbon chain, meaning that they are only bonded by a sigma bond, or a single bond. First, I will connect five carbons to each other. And now this is only five, and our molecular formula has six carbons, but this one, the last one I'm about to add, is an sp2 hybridized carbon. This meaning that from the, the drawing I've given you, that there is an oxygen double bonded to this carbon, meaning that it changes its uh, geometry. And here I will add the double bonded car oxygen to form the carbonyl group. Second to last, I will add our oxygen group that forms the carboxylic acid in this molecule. I will add the remaining 11 hydrogens to our molecule. Now we'll take a look at the molecular geometries of this molecule. As you can see from the completed structure, there is a methyl group right here, meaning that the carbon is bonded to three hydrogen atoms, an alkane carbon chain, methylene groups throughout here, meaning a carbon bonded to two hydrogen atoms, and finally our carboxylic acid on the end right here. So finally, let's recognize the molecular geometries of this molecule. The alkane chain portion of the molecule are all, are all tetrahedral, meaning that they have a 109.5 degree angle. That would be all these five carbons right here. The carboxylic acid in the molecule though, has a trigonal planar geometry, meaning that the molecular forces from the different atoms are pulling the acid to have a bond angle of 120. As you can see, it is a little bent there compared to these rest of these atoms because of the molecular force that is pulling from them. This was my video on how to build caproic acid using the Snatoms kit. In this video, I showed you the important chemophysical properties as well as the molecular geometries of caproic acid.